Hello, welcome to the video overview of Kana Cards, an application developed by Mulishani LLC. If you don't already have this application, you can find it on the iTunes App Store by clicking on the link on the right of this page. If you have installed Kana Cards, you will see our blue icon labeled Kana on your screen. When you launch the application, you'll see a famous Japanese painting called The Great Wave by Hokusai. We really like this piece of Japanese art and hope you will enjoy having it as a backdrop while studying. If this is the first time you're launching Kana Cards, you will be taken to the flashcards view. For future launches, you'll be taken back to the view you were on when you last exited the application. In the flashcards view, each card contains all the information needed to learn one particular character, that is, the Japanese character, the English writing for its pronunciation, or romaji, and the play button for audio. To provide you with the most accurate pronunciation possible, the audio recording is by a native Japanese speaker. Once you have studied one card, you simply swipe your finger across the screen to flip through to the next card. You can also go to the previous card by swiping backwards. As mentioned, we have included numbers as a free bonus in this application. Numbers flashcards have more information, including the kanji for that number, the Japanese writing for the pronunciation, the English writing of the pronunciation, the translation, both written and numeral, and a play button for audio. If you want to look up a specific character, you can use the card table view, which shows you a list of all the flashcards you are studying. You can then quickly scroll through the card decks to find the character you are looking for, and listen to its pronunciation. To find what you want even faster, you can use the card deck menu on the right side of the screen. Kana card currently includes six card decks. Katakana for the basic katakana characters, Hiragana for the basic hiragana characters, K combo for the combinations of different katakana, H combo for the combination of different hiragana, K and U for recently created katakana characters, and finally numbers. Before we move on to the quiz, let's look at the options we included to make your studying easier. As you will find in the options view, there are three ways to customize your flashcards. First, you can choose to study one or several decks of cards at the same time by turning each individual deck on or off. Turning card decks on and off lets you focus in on certain characters. For example, if you want to study only numbers, you can turn off all of the other card decks. Now, when you flip to the flashcard view, you will only see numbers-related flashcards. The same applies to the card table view. Second, you can turn on the Touch to Reveal option. Then, when you go back to the card deck, the English writing of the character's pronunciation, as well as the translation, will not be initially visible. This allows you to mentally test your knowledge of that character, then check if you are correct by pressing anywhere on the screen and revealing the answer. Third, you can activate the Shuffle option. This will change the order in which the cards appear, showing you random cards within the card decks you are studying. Anytime you want to reshuffle the decks, all you need to do is shake your iPhone or iPod Touch to get a new randomized card order. The shuffle option will help you learn the characters without relying on a preset sequence. After studying the flashcards, to see how well you have memorized the characters, you can go into the quiz view and select New Quiz. When you're taking a quiz, you will see a large square in the upper half of your screen displaying the character you need to read or translate. Four buttons at the lower half of the screen displaying the potential answers. And in the upper left hand corner, the number of questions completed against the number of total questions in the quiz, as well as your time. After you have selected one of the potential answers, you will see a tick mark if your answer is correct, or an X if your answer is wrong. You will then automatically be taken to the next question until your quiz is completed. The quizzes we offer are very comprehensive. They include a variety of question types to see if you can translate from Japanese to English, from English to Japanese, and from Japanese to Japanese. For example, between katakana and hiragana, or between kanji and hiragana. The quizzes also test your recognition of the pronunciation of ca Japanese characters by a Japanese person. For these audio questions, characters are replaced by play buttons. When the audio files are 
the potential answers, you will need to press the answer button with the correct audio to answer the quiz question. We have also included options to allow you to customize your quizzes. First, you can choose the card decks you will be tested on, since the questions will only address the decks that are selected in the options view. Second, you can select the number of quiz questions between 10, 25, and 50. And third, you can turn off audio questions if it is not convenient for you to use audio while taking a quiz. If you go back to studying in the middle of the quiz, you'll be able to resume your quiz by selecting that options when you come back to the quiz view. But, if you quit kind of cards or change the quiz options before finishing the quiz, the completed questions will be lost, and you will have to start a new quiz when you come back. Once you've completed a quiz, your score and time will be recorded. You can view a history of your results by pressing the score button in the quiz view. The score view will also show you the date of your quiz and your grade. Finally, if you want to know more about kind of cards, or about other applications developed by Moishani, you can find additional information on the About Us view. There, you can find links to our website, our FAQ page, and our email, as well as our YouTube video. Please visit our Facebook page, where we have set up a community for our customers and welcome your comments and suggestions. And for the most recent updates, you can follow us on Twitter. Again, if you want to download Kenna Cards, you can use the link to the iTunes App Store on the right of this page. We hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for using Canacard. Kind of